curious minds. Have you ever wondered about some of the most useless information out there? Get ready to be amazed, or maybe not by our list of the most pointless facts ever discovered. From quirky trivia to mind-boggling oddities, these nuggets of useless knowledge are sure to entertain and leave you wondering why you needed to know in the first place. So stick around to dive into the absurdity and join the conversation, because sometimes knowing the useless can be unexpectedly fun. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more fascinating and quirky content like this. Let's explore the world of pointless facts together. Did you know that some cats are allergic to humans? Talk about irony, it's a quirky twist in the world of allergies for our feline friend, notorious for triggering sneezes and sniffles in people, can themselves develop allergic reactions to human dander. Imagine the irony of these allergy-causing creatures being allergic themselves. It's a fascinating insight into the complex world of allergens and the unexpected ways our bodies interact with the environment around us. There's a town in Canada called Dildo. Yes, you heard that right. This quirky name has sparked endless curiosity and amusement worldwide. Nestled in Newfoundland, Dildo stands as a testament to Canada's playful sense of humor and the unexpected surprises found in small town names. Whether it's for its humorous moniker or the stunning coastal views, Dildo attracts visitors eager to snap a selfie with its iconic signage and indulge in a bit of lighthearted exploration. The dot over the letter I is called a till, not just a little dot. Did you know that the dot over the letter I has a name. It's called a tittle. This tiny mark might seem insignificant, but it has its own unique identity in the world of typography. From ancient manuscripts to modern digital fonts, the tittle adds a distinctive flair to our written language. So next time you see an eye, remember, it's not just a little dot, but a tittle that completes the character with subtle sophistication. The shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes. Blink and you miss it. Did you know the shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes? Known as the Anglo-Zanzibar War of 1896, it began and ended in less time than a typical TV show episode. This brief conflict between the British Empire and the Sultanate of Zanzibar remains a fascinating footnote in military history, showcasing the swift and decisive nature of certain historical events. Link, and you'd have missed this whirlwind of military action. A group of flamingos is called the flamboyants. How fabulous. These vibrant birds aren't just known for their striking pink feathers and graceful demeanor, but also for their aptly named collective noun. Whether they're wading in shallow waters or taking flight in their signature formation, a flamboyance of flamingos is a sight that embodies elegance and natural beauty, adding a splash of color and charm to any landscape they grace. You can't hum while holding your nose. Go ahead, try it. It's a quirky challenge that proves our ability to produce certain sounds relies on airflow through our nasal passages. Try it yourself. Lock your nose and attempt to hum a tune. You'll find it impossible. This odd yet amusing fact highlights the intricate mechanics of our vocal abilities and adds a playful twist to our understanding of how sound is produced and perceived. In France, it's illegal to name a pig Napoleon. Oui, oui. This quirky law reflects the country's reverence for its historical figures, even extending to barnyard animals. While it may seem amusing, it underscores France's cultural respect and protection of its national heritage. So, if you're ever in France and thinking of giving your pet pig a famous name, you might want to consider alternatives to avoid any legal snag. Rubber bands last longer when refrigerated. Who knew they had a shelf life? It's a surprising tidbit about these everyday office supplies. The cool temperature slows down the degradation process of rubber, keeping bands stretchier and more resilient over time. Next time you stock up on stationery, consider this handy tip to prolong the life of your rubber bands. Who knew that a bit of chill could make such a difference in preserving these small yet essential items? Coal is sleep for about 22 hours a day. Must be nice. It must be nice to live life in the slow lane, nestled in eucalyptus trees and doozing the day away. These cuddly marsupials have perfected the art of relaxation, conserving energy and blending seamlessly into their leafy habitat. Imagine taking that many naps. It's a charming reminder of nature's ability to adapt and thrive, even if it means spending most of the day in dreamland. The Guinness World Record for the longest burp is 1 minute 13 seconds. Impressive! That's longer than some songs on the radio. This remarkable feat of gastric prowess showcases the surprising abilities of the human body. It's a humorous reminder that even the most unconventional talents can earn recognition in the annals of record-breaking achievements. So next time you feel a burp coming on, just remember, there's a world record waiting to be broken. A 
duck's quack doesn't echo. Scientifically proven curiosity. It's a scientifically proven curiosity that has baffled experts for years. Despite extensive research, the reason remains elusive. This oddity adds a whimsical twist to our understanding of sound physics and animal behavior. Whether on quiet ponds or bustling quack. farms, ducks continue to quack without an echo, defying the usual rules of acoustics. It's a quirky fact that highlights the mysteries of nature and the delightful surprises found in the animal kingdom. The smell of freshly cut grass is actually a plant distress call. Sorry, grass. It's true. When grass is mowed, it releases chemical compounds as a response to stress, signaling to nearby plants and insects that it's under attack. So next time you savor that familiar scent, remember that it's not just a pleasant aroma. It's nature's way of communicating. Sorry, grass. For exposing your secret distress signal to the world. Wombat poop is Q-shaped. Nature's little architects. Yes, you heard that right. These adorable marsupials have a unique digestive system that creates distinctive cubic droppings. This quirky adaptation prevents their feces from rolling away and marking their territory more effectively. Wombats are truly nature's little architects, leaving behind perfectly shaped cubes that defy conventional expectations. It's a fascinating example of how animals adapt to their environments in unexpected and practical ways. A group of crows is called a murder. Watch out, Hitchcock. It's a chilling and fitting term for these intelligent and sometimes eerie birds. With their sleek black feathers and piercing calls, a murder of crows can evoke scenes straight out of a suspenseful thriller. Next time you see these avian creatures gathering, remember, nature has a way of weaving intrigue and mystery into even the most commonplace phenomena. Watch out, Hitchcock. You've got competition from the natural world. Scotland has 421 words for snow. Apparently, they're very specific about their weather. From Fiefel to Snowpowder, Scots have a rich lexicon that reflects their intimate knowledge and cultural connection to the wintry elements. This linguistic diversity underscores Scotland's unique relationship with weather, where each term paints a vivid picture of snow's texture, intensity, and characteristics. It's a testament to the country's appreciation for nature's nuances and the enduring influence of climate on its language and culture. The first oranges weren't orange. They were green. It's true. Originating from Southeast Asia, these citrus fruits were actually green. Over time, and through selective breeding, oranges developed their vibrant hue, becoming the iconic orange we know today. This curious fact highlights the evolution of agriculture and human influence on plant genetics. So next time you enjoy a juicy orange, remember its humble beginnings as a green fruit, a testament to centuries of cultivation and innovation in farming practices. Armadillos can contract leprosy. Who knew they were susceptible? Despite Despite their tough, armor-like shells, these fascinating creatures are susceptible to the disease. This unexpected vulnerability sheds light on the complex interactions between animals and diseases in the natural world. Armadillos, known for their unique appearance and behavior, now add a medical curiosity to their list of attributes. It's a reminder that even seemingly resilient species can face health challenges, revealing the intricate dynamics of wildlife and infectious diseases. The longest English word without a vowel is rhythms. No vowels, no problem. This seven-letter word stands out for its unique composition, relying solely on consonants to convey its meaning. It's a linguistic oddity that showcases the flexibility and diversity of the English language. Next time you're pondering wordplay, remember rhythms as a testament to how language can adapt and thrive, even without the usual vowels. Who knew language could be so intriguingly diverse? Alaska is the only state that can be typed on one row of keys. Easy typing, tough weather. It's a fun trivia tidbit that combines ease of typing with the rugged reputation of America's largest state, Alaska. From snowy peaks to vast wilderness, Alaska's name fittingly reflects its unique character. Simple to type, yet harboring complexities that make it a fascinating destination and topic of conversation worldwide. Peanuts aren't nuts, they're legumes. Mind blown. They're actually legumes. Despite their nutty taste and appearance, peanuts belong to the legume family, which includes beans and lentils. This surprising fact challenges our perception of these popular snacks and underscores the diversity of plant classifications. So the next time you enjoy peanut butter or a handful of peanuts, remember, you are indulging in legumes, not nuts. It's a mind-blowing revelation that adds a twist to our understanding of food and nutrition. And there you have it, 20 pieces of utterly useless information. Thanks for tuning in. Stay curious. And who knows, maybe one day you'll find a use for these random facts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more quirky content. Until next time, keep exploring the weird and wonderful world of useless facts.